All right, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in with us again here today. Uh, I've been working on a bit of a project here recently. We have a squirrel hunt coming up. Actually, it's a squirrel tournament. Uh, and we're just, I've been brainstorming and thinking and uh, wanting to implement something that I really would like to have had for the last couple years, uh, but haven't had the opportunity to do it. Really want to set up a scope cam. Uh, so do that. to do that, um, just kind of experimenting, trying a couple different things. Uh, so what here I'm going to be doing today is uh, I have this Nikon Cool Picks digital camera. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, camera check here in just a few moments. Uh, tried it brief briefly when I first got this camera just to see if it was compatible with you know what it looked like but really didn't do too much with it. So I'm going to do a um, camera check in just a few moments and then we're going to use that in conjunction uh, with this little item here. Uh, I'll put links uh, in the, the description to both of these items uh, but basically just got this off of Amazon uh, here today I'm in this nice little felt pouch. Uh, basically just your run-of-the-mill um, scope cam mount we're gonna hook this up to the 22 <laughs> in hopes we get some uh, nice uh, sniper cam squirrel action so anyway uh, hopefully this might be over the course of a few different videos but uh, hopefully we'll get some some range action here for you in just a little bit stay tuned all right Houston, we have a problem here. Um, so, mounts up very nicely with the camera. Um, this is made for a 34 millimeter um, size scope. I knew that. I'm using it for a 22 scope. Obviously, this can be a little bit big. Um, I, I know I can use it on my Vortex uh, Crossfire 2. I can also put it on my Leopold 3x9 on my deer rifle. Um, so, I know I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, redneck ingenuity on to get this to mount up with my 22 scope, but it's something is missing from the packaging. There's these white screws right here, um, and those are missing. So anyway, I think I can probably find um, just some screws go in. I know those are plastic, so they won't mar up your uh, your scope. But I think I'm going to have to put some sort of foam tape. Uh, to make it the correct size anyway so a little bit of a delay I wanted to to, to check that this evening but uh, anyway we're still gonna come back at you I'm still hoping to use this uh, on this squirrel tournament uh, I am gonna reach out to the manufacturer hopefully they can send me a set of screws here pretty quick if not I'm gonna do my own so anyway stay tuned with this alright folks well it's day two uh, I spoke with uh, or I was emailing the uh, customer service uh, department on this uh, camera mount attachment adapter whatever you want to call it um, so they should be sending me some plastic screws made trip over to uh, Lowe's Home Improvement this evening bought me some uh, M5 times 20 <laughs> times 10 uh, trying to make this thing work uh, so what I uh, and this is my uh, Remington Model 5 and it's pretty finicky so what I can tell so far is so I've got this for uh, we got a squirrel tournament coming up and it is so finicky that uh, I don't want it to cost us any squirrels uh, so, but I am wanting this set up to be able to take some small game and be able to catch the, the uh, crosshairs uh, snapper snapper cam whatever you want to call it uh, so I, th I really enjoy watching those types of videos I think you will too so anyway I'm gonna turn this around uh, please ignore the, the the 125 gallon fish tank behind us but we're gonna take some target practice or show you what it looks like here through the scope. Stay tuned. All right, this is a camera check. The Nikon Coolpix recording. Want to doing not only Not only uh, editing, but 
but also microphone checks. I'll put this into the editor in a moment. I know me and Rocky tested it once before. I'm also going to play around with the settings as far as frames per second and other types of deal. Because so, that looks a little fuzzy compared to what I'm used to looking at. This is 180. And this very well could be what it was on a moment ago. Again, this is a camera. Not necessarily a video camera. That looks pretty clear. It's only got a three zoom. Once you get in, it really starts to lose resolution. Again, this is the Nikon Pix. I think once you get into you go about one or two per hour. Get a slight zoom before it starts losing resolution on 1080. So, try it in the editor here, real quick. Alright, here we go. Mind the mess. My fish tank over here. Got my perch, my 125 gallon fish tank. I'm going to turn on the Nikon Cool Picks. Immediately comes up like this. So, You'll have to adjust it. But I think that might work. Alright, so anyway, like I said, it's pretty finicky. Um, so hopefully we can get it uh, solid enough we can use it on this squirrel hunt, uh, but if not, I'll just uh, have it be an ongoing project and tinker with it until I feel confident to take it on a later hunt. But anyway, I'll show you. All right, folks, this is the Rem Remington Model 5. Now, explain what we got going on up top there. Okay, so this is the Grosky, and that's just the uh, supplier for Amazon, but it is the uh, camera uh, adapter mount. I'm going to be giving one of these away on the channel uh, for the 500 subscriber giveaway challenge. And just stay tuned for that. But the only thing redneck about these is the bolts. They didn't come with the plate. I failed to get the bolts to come with the packaging. But this is not. It's, it, this little Bushnell scope is a one power, and this is a, a Nikon Cool Picks, and it doesn't have very good zoom. So this is not the best scope camera combination but we're gonna kill some squirrels with it let's check it out okay so the camera's on and you're actually looking into the camera lens yes through the scope yes to make the shot yes so I'm gonna record <clears throat> what could go wrong nothing <laughs> so I'm gonna record this shot too and we'll we'll put it in post It's pretty, pretty sketch. I almost need a can, is what I need. I need a tin can. I got one right here. Let's do a tin. Let's do a tin can. Where's your can at? Top left side of his head. Oh, okay. We can still make it tough, tough from here. Okay, here we go, folks. If we can hit this can, we'll be good to go. Are we rock and roll? Hang on. Okay. I think you hit it. Of course, I'm a master marksman. 
I'll try to knock it out this time. Okay, guess that answers that. I hate being right all the time, folks. It gets, t <laughs> it gets tiring. It gets tiring when you ride all the time, you know? All right, I think we're good, man. All right. Cool. Thanks for uh, putting up with me this morning. I know you got some family stuff coming up for the holidays, but we'll be coming back at you this weekend for yep. a tremendously awesome squirrel hunting adventure. Stay tuned with us.